Okay. Ismail, you've just stopped the eight fight win streak of a guy who hasn't lost since 2015 and you did it on short notice. How happy are you to kick off your UFC career like that? Man, I'm so, so happy. I can't say it in words. So much emotions right now. But to be honest, I'm not surprised. I knew that. And I'm just so happy. It feels so, so good. You came in as a renowned striker, but you had to show a fair bit of your ground game in there. I mean, looking back at the fight now, and now you've got the win, how happy are you that you were able to show that aspect of your MMA game as well? Uh, like I said, I'm so, so happy. Um, I knew that uh, the Michel Proceres will, 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 will try the takedowns, will try to, 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 to do a pressure on me. And we knew that, me and my team, and you know, you can't change something in two weeks, but we did the best, we did the best we could do, and it worked, it worked. You talk about the octagon jitters, people who make the UFC debut quite often suffer with, with nerves, and their first performance in the octagon isn't always their best. You look very relaxed and calm out there. Talk to me about the emotions you felt when you walked to the cage and when the fight started. Um, <clears throat> I always relaxed because, you know, I'm, I'm not like other fighters, like, oh my god, I have to win, or, or will I lose, or will I win? I, I don't think about this, you know, I'm really strong in mental, and I just enjoy the, the moment, I just enjoy everything of them, because I love it, I love it so much, doesn't matter lose or win, of course I, will, I won't win, but I don't make up, uh, like, uh, so much pressure, you know, for me, I, I'm just thinking, I'm, I go to the cage, Enjoy the moment, enjoy the fight. I will have just fun and destroy, opponent. destroy my opponent, you know, to do my best and the rest will come from alone. The crowd went completely crazy when it comes to you. They were supporting you so much. Did you hear it in the octagon or were you very, very uh, strong about the fight only? I hear everything. I was so surprised. I mean, I knew I have, uh, I know I have a lot of uh, a good fan basic in, in Austria, but I didn't know I have a fan basic in Czech, so maybe it's because of my last fight in XFN. I don't know, when I was, when I come into the arena and the people were, you know, they went like, uh, they, they went like, Whoa! I was like, oh my god, okay, it's, it feels so good, okay, nice, nice. nice. How, do, how can you compare uh, being in previous organizations and now being in the U UFC? Uh, so, how everything works? Do you like it? Is it fast? Is it good for you? It's fantastic. It's absolutely so good. Uh, we came on, on Tuesday and everything was so, so new and so, so excited, uh, exciting and it was, it was crazy, you know, like, like, like a dream, like a dream. I, I couldn't realize it. I I get um, I starting to realize it now, you know, <laughs> everything. But I enjoy everything, you know, like the media, interviews, the fight, everything. I love this. I love this. I think after a performance like that, people are already now starting to look up and take notice of you in in the UFC right now. Where do you want to fight next? Do you want to keep building your name over here in European shows, or you looking to get a bit more international? Look for a show over in the States. What? What's your plan for the next the next few months in 2019? Vegas, baby. Vegas. I want the money. <laughs> I want the million checks, you know. Who do you want to fight in Vegas? If they said doesn't they matter who, Vegas. doesn't matter who. I fight everyone, and you know I I came in uh, in a short notice and beat a guy like Prasheras, you know, who has uh, eight win streaks. Uh, didn't lose since uh, 2015. At number 20 ranked in the UFC welterweight, so I think I deserve a top 15 fighter as next. I'm ready. How did you get your nickname, the Austrian Wonderboy? Because obviously in the welterweight division, obviously we have another Wonderboy. Uh, everyone asking me that. Um, when I was fighting in, in our organization two or three years ago, um, I saw it in an interview, or no, no interview, in the news. Some of Austrian fans, they, they called me the Austrian Wonder Boy. And I was watching and thought about, mm, okay, it sounds good. Okay, I'll take it. So, and yeah, now I'm the Austrian Wonder Boy. <laughs> what about a little bit? Fast forward further into your career. A few more wins 
under your belt. How about a fight with the American Wonder Boy one day? Yeah, um, it will be, it will be, it will be nice. It will be nice. You know, he's the in the same management like me, so we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much.